Andrew McCart, IFL TV, excuse me, <coughs> sore throat, air conditioning, I'll start again. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Kieran Conway. Kieran, uh, what a, an event it was last night, the atmosphere was unreal. Um, just onto your fight with uh, Suleiman Sissoko. Close fight, you dropped him in the ninth round. How did you assess performance? You got you got the split decision, obviously. Yeah, I am good. At the end, I thought I won the f fight by with the knockdown, so probably a point. Um, and yeah, like you said, the event was massive. It, it was amazing boxing in front of. I, I think I heard them announce there was over fifty-five thousand people there when I was fighting. Um, so it was growing, and it, it was amazing um, walking out to that big stadium with everyone shouting and cheering. It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, my performance. I started off slow. Um, he was far. He, he was fast early on. Um, I struggled to get get with the pace um, of his jab, particularly. Um, but I knew I was going to get to him late on. I, I knew, and I knew that when I did shut the gap, I was going to hurt him and trouble him. Um, but it, I guess it was a little bit too late. Um, and yeah, he, I think his speed played a big factor in that. Little, little guy, little fast guy, couldn't get to him. He was in and out. Uh, making it difficult with his feet, running around the ring, but I'm pretty good because I, he just did not want to engage mm. for the whole fight. He didn't want to get involved or engage or entertain. He just literally wanted to get on his back foot and get win on his jab, and it was pretty frustrating. But it is what it is. I took all in. I've took it all in. I've learned a hell of a lot from being here um, and being in that arena last night. And um, there's no way that. That, that loss will define me or anything I'm just going to come back with, with a lot more and I want more I want way more than what I came here with If that was a 12 round fight do you believe that I had the 12 rounds of championship rounds in there you could have maybe got to a more and won that fight? 100% yep. I don't even think he'd be there at the end um, he was very he was getting very very slow by the end he was getting ve there was nothing left in his punches it would have only took me closing that gap once more um, and I'll, he wouldn't have been he wouldn't have finished the fight so Mr. Sokos, he's been built to do good things. Olympic bronze medalist in Rio. I mean, he's he's been tipped to go all the way. Now you got a split decision. You dropped him with that uppercut. Have you announced yourself on the world scene here with that fight, especially in front of the 50 plus fans that were there watching it? I hope so. I know all like the Mexican fans. They 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 liked me. Um, mm. So that's a good thing. There was a lot of good things coming from those. Um, it was a close fight. Yeah, he's done all done, done all this stuff in the amateurs. I hope that it does uh, do well for my career, even though I got a loss. But like I said, it it it, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm coming back. I want more, um, so I'll do what I've got to do to, to do that. And I've learnt a lot from being it. Talk to me about that atmosphere then, fighting in front of that crowd. I mean, for fighting, I know we fought in MTK shows, but a couple hundred thousands here and stuff like that. But 55. I know I heard the the DJ announced it was 56,000 something 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 that was. Mm. Uh, that was watching you fight that I man. How did that make you feel when you heard that? It, it was unreal. Like, um, like I said before, I came from when I was fighting in front of a few hundred people with, for no money, paying to fight, and then uh, just before you're coming up to up the steps to do your ring walk, you can hear everything. You can see a little gap through those those steps. Oh, oh my, I was taking it in big time. Um, I really enjoyed it. I want to stay being a part of these sort of events. Um, so I need to get back on track, get a win, get back on track, and um, I want to get back back doing this sort of thing. I, this I love this. I love it. I love all the the crowd, the big the big lights. I loved it. I loved Maybe it. come out a wee bit quicker this time. Yeah, next time. yeah, yeah. Hopefully I can get a day or two more <laughs> because yeah, there's no excuses, no excuses for for the win, for the loss. Um, it is what it is. Talking about Billy Joe's fighter, then it's uh, a lot. Like, when a, when a trainer pulls a fighter out of the, the corner with a broken eye socket, a broken cheekbone or some other sort of injury, the fighter is also sometimes being called a quit by some fans and stuff like that. But it's the trainer's job to protect this fighter and if we know what eye sockets and orbital bone fractures and stuff like that, you can go blind. So do you believe it was the right decision from Mark Tibbs? If he's got a broken eye socket, I do believe so. Mm -hmm. um, 100% like, he's, he's got family and stuff and what's the point in risking future for an extra round or two mm. he, he was pro he was probably down on the scorecards um, Canelo was coming on strong it was the right decision in my opinion yeah I, I, I agree with you there um, also one more thing on you I know you're about to fly home and 
uh, go to see your family and stuff like that. So, one final thought for the fans here in, the, in Texas that watched you fight and the fans back home? Well, the fans here, they're the most amazing fans that I've ever come across. Like, you come outside and they're all shouting for you. You go in there and they're shouting for you. It was amazing. I've never experienced anything like it. And the fans at home, uh, I apologise for my loss. Um, but I'm going to wreck this fight and I'm going to come back better. See, but you know what's good, Kieran, is it how confident you are. You've took this loss on the chin mm -hmm. and you, you, you seem confident that that's, that's, that's not... that's made you a better fighter somewhere already even though it's only 20, less than 24 hours after the fight you feel like I feel like you 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 feel like you're a better fighter already in terms of what yeah. you've achieved in that ring last night I genuinely do I, I, I t text um, Anto from MCK this morning I, t I told him the exact same thing I said I already feel like I've learned so much I could go back now mm. and I'm a better better fighter I'm a better better guy um, uh, that's, it, that's all there is to it I truly believe that well, I know you're going to get some food. I know you went over to the the big, huge sort of like complex yeah. behind us here, yeah. but it's closed. I think you're going to go now and get yeah. some food. Enjoy well, it. In five minutes. I'm yeah. Enjoy some food. It's enjoy been a some long Texas time. barbecue. Yeah. Um, and a safe flight home, Kieran. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, champ. Thank, Thank you. you.